You are heading into space just seconds from now. Only moments to go. Here it is, the famous countdown in French from Carou, French Guiana. A tout de déo, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain. Allumage AP, décollage. Et les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. It's an e-ticket ride tonight as we rumble the Amazon jungle. The mighty Ariane 5 ECA roars into the sky over Karu. 49 seconds into the flight, Ariane 5 has already broken the sound barrier here in Karu. The massive Jupiter facility will be shaking momentarily as the launcher roars out over Devil's Island, made famous by the movie Papillon. 1,300 tons of thrust breaking the Ariane 5. Free from the Earth's gravity, and look at those Cette pictures. 90% of that power coming from the two boosters, each one 31 meters tall, and burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes. More than two tons per second. Now we feel the rumble here at Jupiter. When the boosters have done their job in less than a minute, but now Ariane uh, will be 70 kilometers in the sky, uh, traveling at more than a mile a second, faster than a bullet. You may recall that uh, we had a green screen on uh, uh, before launch. We're going to see the numbers uh, for the mission begin to appear on the bottom of the screen. But right now, enjoy that video. The data is coming to us from Gilat, a tracking station on a big the hill. Behind us, two minutes into the flight, look at the pictures as Ariane 5 roars into the sky over Koru. All is uh, going green. The next big thing will be the burnout and the jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters. That will occur about three seconds from right now. Separation des étages d'accélération à poudre. And look at that picture as you can see them clearly, the two boosters falling away and the main core, the white light, that's the Ariane 5 and our two passengers making its way into the heavens. The boosters have done their job, we don't need them anymore and uh, they will fall into uh, the ocean. We've lost 600 tons in just two minutes. The Ariane 5 weighs about 180 tons now. As Ariane gets lighter, it goes faster. And there, that white spot of light in the middle of the screen, that is our two valuable passengers and the Ariane 5 at ECA. And all is going well at three minutes and eight seconds into the mission. Uh, the next uh, big event will be the jettisoning of the fairing. It will be gone in just a few seconds. Separation de la coiffe. And there it is. We watched the video so long that uh, we almost saw that occur. Uh, its job is done. It uh, has fallen off about 100 kilometers into the sky. That's 17 meter ferry. We have lost 2.4 tons again. And again, the DDO says everything is normal. Uh, the launcher now 121 kilometers into the sky. There's Bruno Girard, Vice President of Arian Space, uh, CSG. And uh, then uh, Joel Donadel. He is uh, the head of ESA's Koru uh, office. And a special welcome uh, to uh, Didier Favra, the new head of CSG for Kines. The main cryogenic stage, or the EPC, is now burning. It burns for about the nine minutes. The EPC is really just a huge fuel tank. It carries 150 tons of liquid oxygen, 25 tons of liquid hydrogen. That engine is gulping 320 kilograms, about 700 pounds of fuel every second, 500 times 
more than a jet engine. I have absolutely no idea what the fuel mileage is for the Ariane 5, but it's built for speed and power, and in that arena, nobody cares about fuel mileage. And uh, I'm just uh, happy they're not dinging my credit card to fill that baby up with fuel. Uh, and this is the fifth Arian 5 launch of 2016. As we uh, watch, we see on the screen the tracking stations. We'll talk more about them in a few moments. We began the year with a single satellite launch on 27 January for Arian 5. 9th of March, we did it again. We also had dual launches on 18th June, 18 of June, that's the last time I was here, and on the 24th the of August. Nominal. Plans call for the Ariane 5 to fly two more missions before the end of uh, 2016. Tonight will be the 74th success in a row for the Ariane 5. Look at the beautiful replay. Five and a half minutes ago, the Ariane 5 roared off the pad. Well, tonight we will tie the record of its predecessor, the Ariane 4. Uh, while both of them are now tied, the Ariane 5 has a dramatic advantage because of its size and power. It has successfully launched 24 more payloads, totaling almost 350,000 kilos more than uh, the historic Ariane 4 rocket. We're right on track, and uh, the rocket is uh, now 160 kilometers above Earth. Look at that replay again. Just riding that pillar of power and the flames off the pad here at uh, Koru. The final target number for speed tonight, by the way, 9.3 kilometers per second. A few more interesting uh, facts uh, for you. NBN SkyMaster 2 and GSAT 18 represent the 533rd and 534th satellites to be launched by Arian Space. They are also the 123rd and 124th satellites to go into geostationary transfer orbit by the workhorse of the fleet. That's the Ariane 5 that debuted here in 2002. Back at Jupiter, more of the VIPs here in uh, the hall. All continues to go well. Uh, very shortly, the launcher will be acquired by the Natal tracking station in Brazil. Tonight, we use Galliet, uh, which is here in the Coru on a big hill right behind us. Natal in Brazil, a station on Ascension Island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and then Lieberville on the west coast of Africa, and Malindi, Kenya on the east coast of Africa. And coming up in about 10 seconds, uh, we will be picked up by that tracking station in Natal, Brazil. Everything is going perfect right down the middle of that curve that you see in the upper right-hand side. Arian sends data to uh, these ground stations, tells us how the flight is progressing in real time. Later, engineers are going to pour over every single bit of that data to determine exactly how the vehicle performed every step of the way. It's one of the secrets behind the success of Ariane Space. The teams evaluate every aspect of every mission, ensuring that every technical parameter was met, sharing that data full transparency with their customers and allowing them to learn each and every time more about this incredibly complex machine, the Ariane 5 ECA, again, that tonight will fly its 74th calm. You hear that everything is going normally. Next major event, the cutoff of the main stage of the EPC. That'll happen uh, about 10 seconds from right now. You'll hear the DDO make uh, that call, and we'll wait for that. And there it is. The main stage has now completed its job. It will drop EPC. away and fall into the ocean off Africa. The upper stage, or the EPC, will now burn for nearly 16 minutes. 151 kilometers into the sky, almost 7 kilometers per second. 
Let's have a look with the key personnel and the VIPs that are here in the Jupiter Auditorium, located right below my broadcast location. They've been here for a couple of days now. The staff of Arian Space has really rolled the red carpet out for them, and they've been touring the space base in the local area. Tonight they had the best seat for uh, the launch. Those VIPs have traveled a long way to get here. We told you earlier uh, that... Uh, uh, we're about 500 kilometers north of the equator in the Amazon rainforest. Why are we here? Simple physics. The Earth spins faster at the equator than it does at, say, the Kennedy Space Center in That's Florida. And that allows the satellite operators, in many cases, to launch heavier payloads, put more fuel on their satellites, increase the operational life, and that means more profits uh, for them. That's why we're the undisputed champion of the commercial launch industry. Here's more about GSAT-18. 